it's taken a lot of years, uh, a lot of money, um, and a lot of sacrifices to get here. And as for me and a lot of the other immigrants that were here today, um, it's very cool that this organization does this. Onslow County resident Mildred Latino Thomas says the whole process of becoming a citizen has been emotional for her. We waited there for about three hours before I actually did my interview. Um, all I remember is my daughter, she helped me study, um, and she was like, oh, you got this. And I was trying so hard not to cry that whole entire time. But she says to finally have the privilege of becoming a U.S. citizen, she cried tears of joy. The Lenore County Historical Association has hosted its naturalization ceremony for many years. But Tuesdays was the first one held since the COVID-19 pandemic. Everyone who attended says it was a special day, especially for the wife of Danilo Reyes. This has been a long journey uh, for the immigration process. Um, all of the documentation and forms and interviews, but it's definitely all worth it today. Yeah, I'm feeling good. Excellent. And while the families are the ones celebrating, the president of the Lenore County Historical Association says this ceremony is always very touching to be a part of. And you hear the, the names of the countries, Chile, Afghanistan, Korea, Vietnam, they're coming from thousands and thousands of miles away to become citizens of the country I was born into. And that's just um, it's emotional for me.